Um, I'm currently representing South Africa at the Road African Champs uh, this week and next week I'll be representing South Africa at the Track Continental Champs. Um, we landed on Sunday, mo Sunday morning at 11 o'clock in Egypt but got to the hotel at around about 2.30. Um, yeah, traveling out of South Africa during COVID was painful because of all the COVID testing and stuff like that. So currently I've been tested for COVID twice with both results coming out negative, which I'm very happy for. So we got uh, COVID tested just before the racing started here in Egypt. So on Monday we got tested COVID, got tested for COVID. So that was my second test now. Um, yeah, and then we couldn't do it because we had to, if you, so that they could see who's negative and positive and those who can't race and race. So yeah, so on Thursday I'm getting, so tomorrow I'm getting tested again before I start my road race on Friday um, morning. So yeah, we're very COVID cautious and we have to wear a mask at all times when you leave your room. So yeah. Um, at the Egypt airport, it was very strict. You had to repre uh, present your negative COVID PCR test and they are very strict on distance. It's like two meters that you have to distance and only two people may be in an elevator at all times. So yeah, they're very, very, very strict. And we had to hand in forms, a lot of forms to get into Egypt, immigration forms, uh, the work. So they are very strict here. We are allowed to go out of our rooms here at the hotel. They're not that strict, but yeah, it's everything has to be with uh, social distancing and wearing a mask as you leave your room. So with the new technology that's advancing day by day, you just take out the wheels and you, there's like a hook, you hook your bike in at the bottom and then you go. There's even uh, wheels where you can, uh, oh, wheel bags where you can put your wheels. You just slide your wheels in and there you go. Off you go. So I've, I've been cycling since I was around about 11 years old, but I haven't taken the sport as serious as what I'm taking it now. Um, I started taking the sport seriously when, at the age 12. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a family thing, but I actually got into the sport because I was diagnosed at age 11 with Killian Barre syndrome. And then I was like, the doctors didn't, there wasn't a cure for Guillain Barre, so they gave me lots of steroids and stuff like that. And I obviously, steroids makes you swell up, and I got fat. And then one day, my older brother George told me that you can't just sit on the couch and get fat all day, you need to do a sport. And then George built me my first track bike because we had a track bike at home, his old track bike. So he built it up for me, and then I started riding with him during the week, just easy to lose weight. And then I went to the track. And I started enjoying the track. And then a few months later, after I was cleared from Green Beret, a few months later, I then got entered for SA Champs in the next year, April, the following year, April. And I went to SA Track Champs in Joburg and I won all gold. And I was like, yo, I won all gold. And this is not just winning the gold part, but I enjoyed it so much that I decided to stick with cycling. And yeah. I started riding on weekends with my brother and my father as well. My father still rides now and then because he used to do cycling in these days as well. That's how we eventually got into cycling. So it became a brotherly thing. And then I started competing and that's when I just fell in love with the sport. And I enjoy it still today. Like you can't do something you're not enjoying at all, you know. Uh, my dad wasn't the SA cyclist, but my dad was a Western Province uh, champion or cyclist in his days because of apartheid as well. So I don't want to get involved with politics now, but yeah. Yeah, during lockdown, I was actually very motivated in training because I got selected last year for world champs, as you know. So yeah, I was mostly focusing on that goal and training hard and yeah, just working hard every single day because I never knew when racing was going to start again. So I was forced to train hard every single day because racing would open at any moment. And yeah, yeah. Unfortunate, unfortunately, racing didn't open, but I kept on training for those seven months we never raced. Yeah, um, the only time I, that happened to me was when I came back from Belgium in 2019 and I just, I was ridden out of this world. I, the competition and level that, that's abroad is quite difficult. And podiuming at this, um, African champs would mean the world to me as it will boost my career 
like to the next level and that's what i'm hoping for on friday's event to uh bring the gold medal back home to south africa or even the podium spot um the reason why i wanted to quit was because dominating in my country i thought that i was going to dominate in the rest of the world and when i got there i got the shock of my life i got ridden to bits um so it was just about like two months ago i asked myself why did i start cycling and why do i enjoy it that much and then the passion and the love just came back automatically yeah um my current routine is i practice most of the time seven days a week and sometimes i practice two to three times on a day so i'm currently three times in the gym on a monday wednesday and friday and then the rest of the week is just training double sessions or just training on the road and track um on the day during school time i would cover like between 60 and 80 kilometers on that day but without school between 100 and 150 and on weekends between 150 to 200. um for 150 kilometers we would do uh the towards cliff pass the back there by rosenville over wayne's cliff pass at home um i come home on the fifth island in the 15th in the 15th of march in uh Cape Town in south africa but the competition i still have a few more races a lot more races left so for the road it's just the sixth the f no on friday sorry and then the on the track i have uh, i got a approximately nine races that i have to partake in for south africa because I'm one of the senior riders in my age category now and of the, say, the best in our country now. So I was given a fair share of races, so I'll be participating in a lot of races in, on the track. Um, my big dreams are definitely to make it on the world stage of cycling, to be racing the Tour de France, world champs, um, going to Olympics, doing the big classics of the world like Kern, uh, uh, Brussels Kern. So, and even Smolina and Milan Sinramo, which is one of the biggest classics in the world, and even Sperry Roubaix. My three motivators in my life is most definitely God because of what he's done for me, like how he's healed me from a disease where people doesn't even walk or talk. So he motivates me and I, every race I do, I try to give thanks back to God for what he's done to me, to show him that the gift and the talent he's given me isn't waste being wasted. And then definitely I look up to my dad for everything that he's taught me. And then cycling wise, I look up to many people, many, many people. Even currently, I can't even believe I'm, I'm in Cairo uh, with one of my local heroes, South African heroes, Ryan Gibbons and Kent Main and Clint Hendricks even with him on the same team. So it's a big shock. I'm still every day I'm learning from these guys now. So, um, Definitely, most definitely, the world two guys that I look up to is Daryl Impey and Ryan Gibbons and Mark Cavendish. Ryan Gibbons being a South African and Daryl Impey also being South African and Mark Cavendish being from Great Britain. Yeah, dude, all the best with your next few races that you're going to do. And I uh, hope you bring, hope that dream comes through of bringing gold back for South Africa on the podium mm -hmm, on Friday. Thank you. Yeah, and okay, so what are we riding on Friday? Um, I'm riding the road race in on Friday, so that road race will determine who's the best on the continent for the junior men. Okay, cool. So what does road race mean? Like how many kilometers are we riding? So um, we're riding uh, 91 kilometers on Friday, so the race will be over 91 kilometers. So yeah, it's going to be a tough 91 kilometers because before I came to here, they told us that we'll be racing a flat route. And when I got here, I was I got the shock of my life because it was just yields and yields and yields but i will be doing my best my utmost best here yeah? even more than my best because i'm representing my country and we as the junior boys we firmly believe we are one team with one dream yeah nice one team with one dream cool dude i mean yeah it's just a pity the sound wasn't so good in the beginning but thanks so much for your time and uh enjoy egypt and all the best for friday so let's see you on the podium Thank you. Okay, cool, dude. Bye-bye.